Welcome to Let's Play Monopoly. So, obviously, this game I did not set up beforehand. I just instantly pressed record. But it was going to be the same game as at least the opponents. It's obviously not the exact same game. Because you never know what's going to happen. Sometimes it takes a long time. Sometimes it doesn't. So, well, just enjoy the rest. But, here's the thing. You already know how long the game is. Because it's an uploaded video. So, there's... You know? So, I guess you basically know how long. Except I don't. I have to play the game. Look! That Arthur has already given me twenty-four dollars. It's five. Good. So let's keep buying some properties. Go to jail. Jail. I don't know. I guess let's like, like you know, but so that's why that sounded weird. But so Arthur will pay the fifty dollars because he's it's early. There's no point in staying in jail like this long while you have to collect the properties. Look at that Arthur just got two properties. Pay poor tax of 15. And look at that we will have our first trade very soon. Arthur will want to trade. Wow! He went to jail. Look at that and he's already Already, he wants to get out of jail right away. He paid the $50. And look at that, just as I predicted, after his turn was over, he will offer a trade. What do you know? He wants electric company. What a surprise. That he's not, not a surprise because he wants a monopoly on that. So I will buy that property. Hopefully, you know, he will land on a property and... Wow, 16. He has to buy it. So I will bid 20. Arthur can't bid, so I will bid $25 for Indiana Avenue, and I will take it. I have bid, yep. So just end the auction already. $25. That is huge. So let's auction again. $12 this time. Luckily, I. Wow, I just saved. $22 by pressing that button. So I did $12. So I basically spent, what, 30 You can't pay your bill. But don't he can mortgage something. Something's tiny, like Connecticut. Alright, he received $60. That's more than what, you know, I paid for it. I mean, that he, uh, he owns. He has, he had 60, now it's up to 52. Now I will get out of jail, but it will be free because I have that, that get out of jail free card. So I don't have to pay the $50. 20, 25, 43, 44, 62. Should have let Arthur go first. But hey, getting boardwalk for $62. Not a bad deal at all. All right. In the auction already. Sold is good. Unbelievable, I paid money to Arthur. Not good, but he paid $167. So he profited $33 right there. Just for that transaction. Good, I was assessed, so it's fine. So Arthur's not a lot of money. 99 Ninety-three dollars for Venter Avenue. Wow, I am getting nice cheap properties today. First, I got Boardwalk for only sixty-two. That for ninety-nine. Only got it for twelve. I got a property for twelve dollars. So let's also auction. Eighty-four dollars for short line. That is huge. That means I have two railroads. So hopefully Arthur will land on a couple of railroads so I can have them all. And he got a six. 
He has to auction it. 107, okay. That's not as discounted as I would like, but, you know, you do get it for $107. Sold. Sold. Excellent. So Arthur would like to trade. I wonder what he wants. It's probably a le no, it's no, it's a good piece. Yeah, it's St. James. I forgot about that. I was like, I almost announced that it was Electric Company. So he has more than he has 99, so no point in auctioning that. Come on, land on that railroad. 10. I own, let's see, so I own, I need a blue. $24. Thank you very much, Arthur. Now, hopefully he will land on Park Place, so I will have a Monopoly. Because, and he gets an 11, 275. That's all right, he's 275, so I have to buy it. I have to buy it the regular way. Come on, he had to land on that before I bought the railroad. 168 this time. So seven. Ooh, I gave Arthur money. Oh no, he owns two. That's not good. He gets a hundred dollars. This is ridiculous. What did I need? I needed a six. Because I believe he owns Connecticut and Yes, we can't let him get Oriental. I inherit a hundred dollars. Thank you, Arthur, for the one hundred dollars. Thank you, but of course we're not gonna let you do it. Oh, you did the trade for me. Thank you. So you you would like electric company, but we're not. But unfortunately, you're not gonna get electric. Company. You're going to offer me Vermont for. I will give. This is a very, very acceptable price. 175. Good. So he, so he gained some money. Let's see. So what? Did Arthur get a two? Oh, come on. I wanted a two. Yes, I know I get $50, but I want Boardwalk. Look at that. What? Oh, he landed on Oriental. Nine. He can afford that, so, but he's obviously not keep he's obviously not keeping that. I will give him short line. Good, good. Arthur doesn't know I needed a two. That's fine. I just he just landed on short line. Eighteen dollars. So if he lands on Park Place, he will have to auction it. Let's see, five. Or I could get Baltic as well. Arthur is going to jail. He will instantly get out of jail. Good job, Arthur. Stay out of jail and pay $50. So, seven. Big error in your favor. That is huge. $18. He has four dollars left, so hopefully, you know, I can land on a property now and and you know auction it. Or Arthur can land on a property. You can't pay your bill, so he can mortgage something. He'll mortgage Waterworks, so he gets seventy-five and only owes me twenty-four, so he's up to fifty-five dollars. So of course I I have a chance at two monopolies unless you know I do that in like that you know like so well, if I land it then trade and then buy it I actually had to do that in one game because of course I obviously did not want to trade look at that it is mortgage why did he not mortgage and there is a monopoly for me sixty five dollars for park points. Wow, I am getting these properties cheap. So I have a Monopoly. Already. I've only had to make one 
trade. Second prize in a beauty contest. Should go oh, good, good, nine. Alright, good, good, good. Land on the boardwalk. That's good. Good, thank you for the $100. That's very helpful. So let's make it. Let's add four houses there. So it's 605. Yep, 600 Arthur's game, maybe endings. It's Illinois Ave. While all the property may not be sold, there's still four properties out there. And if Arthur lands on, you know, boardwalk a few times. So no point staying there. Doctor's fee, pay 50. But he would like to trade, even though he could very well lose. He like Vermont Avenue. I'm sorry, Arthur, you took my money. So you're not getting that. Let's see how, oh, let's see. Yep, so he would need a three. Oh, had I gotten out, I could have bought it. Tennessee, he owns this property. I got an 11, so I have to pay in the $50. Good, good, good. Alright, alright, how about it? I um, wanted a 7, but that's fine. 9, back in jail. Arthur has bought that property. That's not good if he ends on Woodwalk Park. He'll have to mortgage some properties. Oh, you owe me the two dollars. That's it, only two dollars. Thrilled doubles. That is huge. Well, Pacific Avenue has been sold. That means we are down to three properties. Ooh, you owe me ten dollars. Baltic. If I get Baltic, that's a second monopoly. Good, good. It's more aged. Down to two properties. And look at that, he wants to trade. I don't know. Yeah. Hasn't he learned his lesson? He wants Pennsylvania Avenue. No deal. Alright. Income tax. And thank you for the $100. You have to mortgage something to pay for it. Mortgage. Short line. He mortgaged short line. It's so basically got a hundred and he gives me a hundred. He did not profit or lose any money at all. And it's ten. There is Monopoly number two. So it's instantly put hotels there. Now I'll you for four houses, not hotels. Arthur, you can't pay your bill. He has to mortgage something. He mortgaged Atlantic Avenue for $130. Oh, he needed to give me 28 and he mortgaged Atlantic Avenue. 12. Because of that, let's put hotels on here. So then Arthur will have to lose money if he lands on Mediterranean or Baltic. Careful. Good, good, good. Four. Now I can't pay my bill. A mortgage for Monet, do. And Arthur has more money than I do. So, both sides have properties that are mortgaged. Any more? Five. Good. How about? Oh, we got an eleven. So one more property, States Avenue. If Arthur gets it, he will have, you know, another property to trade. If I get it, then, well, I just have I'll have another property to own. So nothing wrong with that. Thank you for the $24. This is good. Good job. 
six. It is mortgaged. Unbelievable. Seventy-five dollars. Good, good for twenty-three. How about and oh come on. So I needed a ten, I did not get a ten. Of course, just basically saving up. Now to get some houses. So Arthur, I believe we'll have to land on it at least once. And I think he has profited for Baltic and yeah. Actually, if I could buy houses, that could uh, that could eliminate Arthur. Let's see, ten. Now I'm definitely buying houses. I just got the hundred dollars. Fourteen and eleven hundred. So. There's a good chance that Arthur will be eliminated if he gets a 5 or a 7, and he gets a 6. Arthur has survived his elimination roll. Now, he will, because he'll have pass go. Unless he lands on my property. 41. Now it seems like unmortgaging to grind the reading. 400. So, let's increase the damage on Boardwalk and Park Place. 1,370. Now it's not a it's 1,300. $40. So now I believe it. Yeah, I've done the math and he hasn't gotten any property, so. Oh, this could be the first game where all the properties do not get sold. Almost, there's still one left. If he gets a 10 or a 12, his game is over. And this turns out to be a very short game. He gets a 10! Wow! Not all, didn't sell all the properties, and game is over. Alright, I will see you in the next video.